Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. Today's part two of my breaking up years into number pairs. So it says 1972 or 2156 or whatever you want it to say. If you haven't watched part one yet, go watch that and then come on back. All right, so we've got this working for most years, like 1915. 1915. Or, uh, you know, whatever, 1305. 1305. But if you give it a whole century year. 1300. That doesn't sound about right. Right? So let's add some exceptions to our rules over here. Now, one thing I'm going to do is we're going to create a bunch of exceptions. So I'm going to take this replace with the O part. I'm going to make this its own separate function. Okay? So we're going to slide up here and we're going to say public function add O, S as a string, as a string. All right, so we're gonna basically send in a two digit string year that we've already built down below, and we're just gonna do that replacement. So if left S comma one equals an zero, then add O equals O and right S comma one, All right? Otherwise, add O, just equals s so if i send it 18 it's just going to return 18. okay so now because i can use this in multiple places now i don't want to duplicate my code so we can get rid of this whole block okay and in fact we don't even need to split this anymore i like to get rid of variables whenever i can so let's get let's go backwards let's get rid of that let's get rid of left two and right two and we're just going to replace this with left two going back here and right two is going back here. But now I can say add O to that. See how that function makes things a lot simpler? And now I can go back to this, right? Split into pairs. Okay, let's test it. 13.0. Oh, yeah, we still, got that. we still got that problem. But we'll get to that in a second. 13.05. Okay, so that's working great. All right. And another thing I was thinking is there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to easily handle numbers going all the way down to one. So we're just going to say here, if this is, if Y is greater than 9999, or let's do, or if it's less than, let's do if it's less than 99. All right, because anything less than 99, just going to say it, right? 84, 17, 62, sure. All right, Repl replace with that. And anything bigger than 9999, we don't want to deal with either. Okay, so now that we're down here, now we know we've got a, a year from 100 to 9999. Okay, so here let's deal with three digit years. And this works with numbers too. If you're dealing with dollar signs, you know, or currency values, right? Okay, so here we can say if y is less than or equal to 999 then and if here we're going to check first to see if it's an even hundred okay how do we check to see if it's divisible by something we use the mod function or the mod statement or whatever it is it's the modulus operator it's an operator i always forget that there's there's functions there's subroutines there's operators, there's all kinds of stuff. So we use the mod operator to determine if something is divisible by something else. So if y is less than or equal to 999, in fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move, the, you know, let's leave it there, that's fine. Let's say, um, let's say if y mod 100 equals zero, then we have an evenly divisible by hundreds, all right? So even hundreds. This will be a year like 1900, 1800. Well, actually here we're less than a thousand. So this will only be the years like 800, 700. We'll deal with the other ones in just a minute. Now, if memory serves, access will say these just the way you expect, 700, 800, 900, right? So here we can just say that format year equals S, our value, right? Otherwise, If it's not evenly divisible by 100, then we got a regular number like 124. So we want it to say 124, right? Just like we were doing down here. So we're gonna copy this, we're gonna split it up, and we're gonna put it here, and we're just gonna say, give me the left one character, and then the right two. So it'll be like seven, 
64, right? Save that. All right, now in here, we need an else, and this will be four digit years now. All right, I'm gonna move this so it's consistent. Let's move this over here. All right, so here's our three digit years. Down here is gonna be our four digit years. Because right now, we're less than 999 up here, so that means we're over 999, but still less than 10,000. So the first thing we have to check for is even thousands, right? So if y mod a thousand equals zero, then we have an even thousand. And this will be a year like 1900, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Duh. That'll be, that'll be a year like 1000 or 4000. So we're just going to say that, that the 1900 is coming up next. All right. So this, again, is going to be format year just equals s, say 2000. Okay. Else if, now what if, at this point, what if we're divisible by 100, right? So if y mod 100 equals zero, then we have even hundreds over 1,000, over, over 1,000, yeah. Okay, and this is where we're gonna say format year, format year, I can't type today, equals, we want the left two digits and then the word 100, right? 1,600. 2400. So this will be left S comma two and space hundred, the actual word hundred. Okay. Otherwise, well, what do you have left at this point? This stuff right there. Paste it in there. Right. You got regular, whatever. In fact, I'm going to move this up to here. Ah. Don't paste twice. <laughs> okay. And that ought to do it. Let's see. Yeah, I've been a little inconsistent throughout here. This, is, this should be format year equals this. I've been using S when I didn't need to be using S. Yeah, we got S is that here. So format year equals S. Okay. Format year equals S. Format year equals that. Format year equals S. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to get rid of it down here. And I'll put it there because I've been using S to pick it apart and then putting the value in the actual format here. Okay, I think we're good. I think this is what we need. Let's save it. Debug compile. Let's come back out meow, and let's try it. 1305. Okay, that sounds good. Let's go 500. 500. All right. Let's go 506. 506. Beautiful. Let's do a thousand. One thousand. Okay. Let's do thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Beautiful. Let's do thirteen oh five. Thirteen oh five. Wonderful. Let's go nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five. Sweet. How about nineteen oh five? Nineteen oh five. All right. Twenty two fifty five. That's too big. Twenty two fifty five. Well, let's test that. Twenty two thousand five hundred and fifty four. You could very easily continue extrapolating this out now if you wanted to put another one down here, right? Just you'll have to do this again in another else if and go to five digits. So you can make these as for as big a number as you want if you want to keep doing number pairs. But at that point, it doesn't make sense to do number pairs. That's not really how we speak those years, right? Well, I guess our our great 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 ancestors will have their descendants will have to worry about that right <laughs> but there you go there's your format year and your add o function i'll put these in the code vault for you gold members and you can also grab them right out of here everybody else get to type in or join up as a gold member today right all right so that's gonna do it easy peasy right that's your tech health video for today hope you learned something live long and prosper my friends i'll see you next time a special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsor, Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions. They're manufacturing experts specializing in Microsoft Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. Check them out at accessexperts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can.
Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members, Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject, 
and I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just Access. These are the full-length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a Diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.